<laughs> TGIF. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good Friday morning to you. It's a new day. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, I've been full-time RVing for a long time, 25 years or so, and I like it. I'm in an ungated community here near Lano right now, Lano, Texas, called an RV park. And uh, what else? Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The current temperature in Lano is 41 degrees. With a high of 72 and no rain. Looks like a pretty weekend coming up, too. Anyway, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Moscow, Russia? The temperature in Moscow right now is 41 degrees. That's not bad. How about that? But anyway, Good. That, How can I help you? That's all. Now be quiet. <laughs> anyway, what else? Uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. I've, only, I've heard that one. Two cannibals were eating a clown. One said to the other, does this taste funny to you? I've probably read that one. Here you go. A, a termite walked into a bar and said, is the bar tender here? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm moving along. Quote button. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Neil Pert. That's brilliant, Neil. I'm proud of you for coming up with that. But anyway, got a lot of comments here this morning. And uh, for the noon video, I think I'm going to do something related to the Class C and travel trailers. Since I have lived in both and people are trying to make choices maybe between driving their home and pulling their home. We'll talk about that a little bit. But having said that, RV Living with the Geezer says, I've owned pop-ups, a fifth wheel, and several bumper pulls, total of seven through the years, living full-time now in a 22-foot Jayco. Don't see myself going back to sticks and bricks, but you never know for sure. Yeah, I've, I've often thought about, you know, still building that cabin. But man, that's a, that's a toughie for me. I, I do enjoy the freedom of the road. I do. And um, would that eliminate the freedom of the road if I built a home? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I probably would. Because I'd be broke. Ralph P. Loved your video, Rusty. This is on the RV. You are correct. I am a senior and we can live on very little. Being thrifty helps. No, it's true. You know, if uh, people are are brainwashed their whole in adult life to put away a large nest egg for retirement, and they do most a lot do, and then what that ends up doing is going to their kids who blow it on booze and new cars when they pass away. So, you know, enjoy your life while you can. But anyway, Pearl Esme, thumbs up to you. James Jones, uh, this is on RVing. Great info and insight for people thinking about RVing. It's getting busy out there. Do you watch the YouTube channel On the Dole with Dennis? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I, I watch Boondocking with Dennis occasionally. And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it is getting a little crowded out there. And we're, we're going to see this year. I don't know. if We'll see how it goes. Uh, Larry Tucker uh, on RVing, after having three bumper pull table trailers and a truck camper, we have desi decided to try a, a simple converted cargo van. We visited the Casita building in Rice in 2019. 20000 now seems like a bargain for a Casita. The Sundowner 1669-1869 looks like a good line. Looks, line looks good. Uh, well, I, I, I guess so. I, I don't know about the sundown or whatever. So I, I've, I've often thought about uh, a car a building, you know, doing a, a van, you know, and still think about it. Uh, but, you know, I, I like the comforts. You know, it's hard to beat this Class C. You got a nice roomy shower, a full kitchen, full bath, big bed, you know, 
Uh, you do give up some miles per gallon, but uh, other than that, uh, it's just a big van. This person's name is Sissy Taylor. Thank you, Sissy, for the emojis, the heart, and all the stuff. Ronnie Henwood on Billy the Kid, Lincoln, New Mexico. I like all the places you showed us. Thank you. However, if you do your research, you would find out Billy the Kid was not mean or ruthless. His friends called him gentle, loyal, brave. There are many misconceptions about the kid. So you knew his friends. So you're pretty old, aren't you, Ronnie? <laughs> you're older than I am. <laughs> no, what, what you read about any old gunslinger or whatever you want to call Billy the Kid is, is uh, history. You know, you're, you're reading historical footnotes that m were basically rumors. So look at the history we've lived through and how it's being portrayed or in history books now, it almost makes you want to laugh. So, you know, that, you know, the misconception, you could be correct, correct, but I don't know. No one knows. Mech 4 Fun, 57. Rusty, looks like you're in a different spot. I must have missed you mentioning that. I'm sure it is a good move for you. Yeah, it is. I like this. I did move to another spot in the ungated community. Zaytun J, J, Zaytuni de J. Cotterell. The plus point is if the neighbors are not agreeable, just pack up and go somewhere else. The best option e ever. Have a nice day, Rusty. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, Jeff Smith, are you in a different spot in the RV park? I am. I sure am. Wayman Samang, really good info, Rusty. Uh, yeah, it was, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hazel M101. When did you change parking spots for your RV? Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, it's been a month or so ago. I'm an elder. Thumbs up to you. Randy Jowers. Well, dang, Rusty, you told her to stop. Well, I, I do that all the time. I mean, I don't, I don't just tell her to shut up when I'm doing comment call. I tell her to shut up all the time. Because if I'm asking her questions and she takes off on one of those rants, uh, then I tell her to stop. That's it. Eli James, thanks for all the great comments and stay safe and I love your RV and I love your video and how was your trip? What trip? Oh, the trip to Canyon Lake. It was fine. And I've got another one coming up on Monday for a few days. We're going to go over to Lockhart, Texas and I'm going to get me some barbecue. And I'm going to do a few short trips. I might do one more short trip before I go up north for the summer. And that is something I, I would really miss if I had a sticks and bricks because it would be very difficult for me to keep this and buy or build uh, a home. Very, in fact, impossible. <clears throat> Richard Cheese, he says, if, I were, if it were me, I'd arrange your whole campsite differently. If, you better not try to rearrange it, Richard. You, you arrange your campsite. I'll do mine. Thank you. Julie Golub, I don't even know why you said that, Richard. You know I ain't going to do anything. Julie Golub, so positive and helpful. I gave up listening to the news also. Has made such a wonderful change in my thinking. It will. It's, it's like taking a breath of fresh air, man. It's like, it's like getting a huge monkey or gorilla off your back because it's so negative, man. And, and, and they're good at stirring up your emotions. You know that. But I'm glad it worked for you, Julie, and I hope it works for others. Gregory Adkins on the RVing. I was in Quartzsite, Arizona last month, and among the drivables, the most by far are Class Cs among towables, big 22-foot-plus travel trailers and fifth wheels, small trailers, casitas down to teardrops, almost non-existent. Isn't that interesting? You, I'd have thought there would have been a, quite a few out there. Carrie Mace uh, on RVing, I said something about 15,000 or 16,000, you could probably live pretty good. Uh, says 16,000, you could own a house. Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Well, if, if you had the house paid for, sure, if the house was paid for. But uh, anyway, you got a lot of responses to that one. So anyway, uh, this is Cactus Jack. No one wants to go... To Tucson in the summer so this time the boss chose me I was getting kind of restless so he thought I might need some time in my RV <laughs> Cactus Jack well you know uh, no one does want to go to Tucson in the summer it well it's it's a dry heat though it's like Phoenix and Las Vegas 
you know, the humidity is so low you have to spray water on your windshield when you're cleaning it. I mean, it evaporates so fast. Cody Butler, RV parks are what make me not want to RV. I cannot stand them. Well, see, that's what you call a hasty generalization, Cody. What you've probably been to a few parks that weren't satisfactory, but there are a number that are very nice and the, and the people are great says, I'm so happy I didn't buy a big RV that pretty much forces me to go hook up somewhere. We went truck camper with a teardrop route. That being said, I love your channel and I'm happy to see you getting enjoyment out there. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Thank you, Cody. Rich L. <clears throat> Beautiful setup, Rusty Boy. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine for me. Wayne Johnson. Great communication on RVs, and thanks, Rusty. Thank you, Wayne Johnson. I like that positive comment. Kathy Bowen says, Vinny, what they did here in Florida is big corporations bought up most campgrounds and added the word resort in front of each park name so they can now charge two and three times as much money. It's not uncommon common to pay $750 per month and up. Uh, hurting us and our visitors so sad well you know to some people though <clears throat> if you come from the west coast of Florida or up from New York into Florida then that price is very reasonable and that's what's happened across the US Taz Mod hi Rusty are there any restrictions at the RV park you're at like animals kids loud parties etc basically uh, if you're not a good person and you make too damn much noise here they'll just kick you out uh, life's adventures love the car yeah the spark yeah I like the spark too about 47 well, it's 46.8 miles to the gallon right now and I've got I've only had it about six weeks and I think I've got nearly 2,000 miles on it <clears throat> I drive it a lot take short trips just cruise Paul Steffner great video thanks you're very welcome this is David Bricky I lived in a bumper pull trap. I lived in a bumper pull trailer a few years. Now, now that I'm retired, I'm I'm sitting at home, and I do realize that not everything fits everybody. You enjoy your day. No, that's true. You know, if if you're happy sitting at home, uh, watching TV or what, working in your garden or whatever, that's fine. Do you do you do you? <clears throat> this is on the RVing. Just the person's name is just down the lane. Thanks for showing us your connections. Was it easy to drive front tires on those yellow blocks? What are they for? Oh, those are leveling blocks under the front uh, left. I just have two blocks under the front left tire. It raises it up about this much, and, and that, that's perfect. Yeah, it's easy. Sure, you just drive it right up on there. Angie, great video, honey. You're so right. There's always one thing, and it's all, and it is always me, ha ha, because myself and I always enjoy, regardless of that one thing, ha ha. Just joking, honey, honey, honey. You call me honey, but you gave great advice, and I do appreciate your being honest. Well, I'm just telling you what I see. Thank you, Angie. This is Dandy Fi on RVing. Can you really live that cheaply RVing? It seems like. Things like gas, insurance, and whatever else, incidentals, would add up to more. Well, you know, every situation is going to be different. Every individual has different budget. That's just a generalization. And is it accurate for everyone? No. Is it accurate for anyone? Yes. Me. Slack pack hiker. You might be ungated, but you're not unchained. Well, that's true. It's true. It, it, and I'm glad. it. I like... I, I can't imagine living in a gated community, you know, having so much stuff that I had to worry about people coming to steal my stuff. People in RV parks don't worry about that a lot. Uh, James Veach leaves me out. I only get $9,285 a year. Oh, woe is me. You could still do it. If you had a paid for RV, you could still do it. Michael Marsh, cheaper in Texas on the RV park, says $700 per month and up in Florida and and California the same way but uh, Arizona is pretty reasonable New Mexico is pretty reasonable Nevada I don't know about Colorado uh, Mike Andre on the RVing great knowledge great video that cream colored RV with a green stripe down the side looks like a vintage retro brand bumper pull that's pretty nice if you 
like that look. Actually, it's a fifth wheel, but it is a retro. They also have a couple of other color schemes like that. They also have a fifth wheel that's a lot bigger <clears throat> that is a vintage retro brand also. Yeah, the retro is, is an interesting look. Boondocking with Dennis. Good morning. Very nice RV part with lots to do. Yeah, it is. Like the, tomorrow they're going to have a pancake, the Lions Club pancake breakfast over at the little building about, oh, I don't know, half a mile from here. And then they're going to have the Fiddler's thing. I think they're going to have it there too, actually. Or that may be somewhere else. And then they've got the uh, uh, Lano Crawfish Festival coming up on the 16th and 17th of this month, I believe. Thank you, Boondocking with Dennis. Check his channel out. He's Boondocks in a pickup with a camper top along the Gulf Coast of Texas. Or that's where he kind of roams. Uh, check his channel out. Den uh, Boondocking with Dennis. Yeah. Mr. CJ Cab 64, another good video. Good RV video. Good day, Rusty. Thank you, CJ Cab. Uh, again, cool driving videos with so much info. Yeah, that was on the RVing and stuff. Sue Martinez. Love traveling. The Indian blood in me says, let's go. Well, I think the uh, blood in most people says that. And if they have good health, they do it. Outcast 1. Looks like you found a nice park to hang your hat. Yeah, it's, it's really a nice park so far. I have no complaints at all. WTBM123. Cool. Yep. Mr. CJ Cab 64, thumbs up to you. And he got a couple of mugs of beer there. Uh, this person's name is Situated 4. I like it on the RV. Good. Spiderhead, how are you doing, Spiderhead? That looks like a nice park. Have a great day, Rusty. Yeah, it is. It's a small park, and that's what I look for in RV parks. In fact, if I stay in New Mexico in Capitan, I usually stay at Mama Bears because they only have like, I don't know, 15 sites. And uh, so, you know, the fewer people you have, the fewer barking dogs you have, the fewer, little less noise you have, the less chance you have of having that. Dale Pointer, life on the road in an RV, Texas parks are 600 a month. Yeah, you can stay at Texas State Parks for about 600 a month. That's a fact. Two weeks stay, move to another. Two weeks stay. No, that's right. Uh, electric, water, sewer included. Well, some of them just have electric and water. You must have a state park pass. Uh, Seventy dollars a year, and then he says now Corps of Engineers are half price for seniors. If you get a, if you acquired the Golden Card Pass years ago, it's still uh, free to enter. Uh, about eighteen dollars a night to camp, two weeks stay at a time. New senior pass, I think, is seventy-five dollars. It also lets you in all national parks camping at one half price. So stay alone. Yeah, I've, I actually thought about doing what you're talking about, going to state parks by, and just stay by the month. And I'm not going to say that's out uh, because, but the downside of it is uh, you're going to be moving a minimum every, of every two weeks. And uh, you, you would have to make reservations because you wouldn't want to arrive at your next two-week home and not be able to find a site. So we'll see. Taz Mod, Salem, Oregon gas prices Range is 299 to 339, and Boondocking with Dennis says 232 in Rockport, Texas. Uh, yeah, so you know that's a that's a big that's a dollar a gallon difference. That's amazing. Dertrixa, good evening, 8:30 p.m. Greetings to all. Yeah, Dertrixa lives on the North Sea in Germany. We'll do about four more here, guys, and then we'll shut it down. This is Jane Bray. Hello, Jane Bray. I think she lives in Canada. Uh, and uh, anyway, Rusty, I just saw a 13-foot 1979 Trillium for sale here for 18K. No toilet, no shower, just a one cubic foot fridge. We are still waiting for our 19-foot Taylor co coach, 112 square feet of luxury living. Well, Jane, I hope you get it soon. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Mr. CJ Cab 64, thumbs up. Spiderhead, thumbs up. Alpha, thumbs up. August Calderero, last one. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Always learn something new for sure. Well, every day you learn something new and you don't even realize you did. You can't go a, you can't go a day without learning something. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas in the ungated community, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. 
you just click on the link go to Amazon and buy whatever you choose and uh, Amazon takes care of old rusty which is fine and what else drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you it's good for you it'll help you avoid gout kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much as in snack and uh, yeah uh, the only way to lose weight and keep it off is to form the habit of eating less and that is a hard habit to form I know and then what else uh, take deep breaths Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. You won't regret it. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately. And you may live longer, healthier by, because of that one thing. And then stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which are your thoughts, your dreams, your memories. So don't watch the news don't watch the news don't watch the news read it do your own research you can do it if you choose to now if you're just lazy you want to lean back on the couch or in the recliner and let them just spoon feed the negativity to you they'll do it 24 hours a day seven days a week all the negativity from the entire world and, and handed to you by pros talking heads paid millions of dollars a year so anyway your choice you cho you choose so anyway having said that accentuate the positive eliminate the negative enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time at ease carry on adios bye bye hasta luego vaya con dios aloha bye bye until noon when i will post a video about something <laughs> anyway guys enjoy your friday and got a good weekend coming up i hope adios guys